Ran Masochist. Let's get it. Mother, mother, that's a killer on the beat. Animal flow, I cannibal, and it's time to eat. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, ham, it's thing like a bee. Float like a butterfly, then crucify the bee. Okay, let's switch to role play. I'll be the full case, you be OJ. Apply the pressure, right to the letter on the probate. My flow is cocaine, stack by the key G. That's the sound of the pali. Oh! It was shaky. I ain't gonna lie. The, first, the, the, the like super exaggerations in the beginning of the flows. I wasn't uh, in the beginning of the end rhymes of the first two bars. Wasn't a big fan of. But then he started to get into the more of rapping and bar pocket. I did like. I have been peeping some of the comments and because I I was truly a nigga was befuddled. I'm like, I've never seen this before with anybody I react to. Where it's like, every time he drops a new song, I'm in here like, bro, what the hell is this? But then I go to his back catalog and I'm like, oh, y'all, bro, we need to give Ren a chance. All right, so, and then I started reading the comments because I wanted to get some context. And y'all niggas be, you know, when I cipher through the stupid ones and get to the good ones. And I didn't know that this was actually older than some of the old stuff that I've been reacting to. So he's giving this to us sort of like with Kendrick, he dropped Untitled Unmastered. Well, we, I wasn't judging Untitled Unmastered quite the same way I'd be judging Good Kid, Mad City. But even with that being said, I'm still judging these to be whether they're good songs or not. But I just wanted to get that some context because some niggas might not have knew that. Like, I didn't know that. And I'm here for you, baby. Oh, I thought he was going to say a young nigga got it bad because he's white. Fuck no. Coming straight out of... I came to bring the pain hardcore to the vein. Let's go inside the mental plane. Okay, so, okay. Ren, I'm just such a music stan. You're especially hip-hop. You cheating, you cheating, nigga. Because if you're making this many hip hop references, there's no way I'm not gonna. Hey, I know that one. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, like a nigga. That's the one thing about bars, right? Like Little Wayne is a master of it, and it's it's like almost psychology. If a bar is abstract enough, right? But you get it. You, it doesn't actually matter what the bar sounded like anymore. We just take that as, ooh, that was a bar, which is fine. Like, Wayne does it all the time. But you start noticing it. I noticed it in a professional wrestling, right? So Mick Foley goes right here in San Antonio, Texas. Not where I live, but let's just say that. And the crowd pops, and everybody goes crazy. And I go, oh, it's just reference. Oh, I'm from San Antonio. Yeah, that's me. So that's what I, it's like with those things, like nostalgia, stuff like that. They're hitting your brain in a way they get you, but... That's how I feel. He's coming in here like on some wheezy shit. As for I'm trying to go for straight bars. Oh my god, vertebra breaking your bones and the third to make your furniture. Oh my god. The syllable play is stupid. So now, you know, when you looked at Ren do that diss track and shit, and he was like, I'm gonna be honest. I genuinely believe Ren just wanted to be in a rap battle. I did nobody's gonna tell me no differently, but I get it. Nigga MC, I get it. I get that sometimes I just want to test my pen and this is a competitive sport. And I actually, even though I was like, man, leave them niggas alone, I still felt, I get it, I feel you, bro, bro. Like, don't play with this pen, cause I might have to, you just sort of gotta check it off my rapper box. Like I, I got into a rap beef, right? Because I do think with Ren's talent of singing, guitaring, and all that other shit, niggas aren't really looking at him for bars. You know what I mean? We're not judging him for bars. And so this was what Mask Kids have been one of them records where he was trying to come more bar heavy. 
Murder by third degree burns when the murder you throw in your blood, curdling, carving it with the curve that your birds are hurting you, breaking you. And that, like, what he did with that, the first sound, I can't even think of the, the first syllable sound, which is curve, and then playing off of that to go curvature. You know, that's just one of those, like, writing things. And a lot of times we don't look at, like, rap as, like, one of those, like, um, I just like writing, like, you know what I mean? Like, if you were to write a story or stuff like that, and little things in writing, similes, metaphors, all these things that enhance writing are always here. Inner rhyme, um, alliterations, things like that that will just make a story a little cooler are all very important in rap. And so when people do those, you got to give them that, like, curvature to the curve. And, and the illiterate. Yo, how? I guess, yeah, bro. I, I've never heard a voice get deepened like that, and you can so clearly still tell it's the nigga. Like, it's so clearly still red. <laughs> Be honest, I ain't gonna start this, but in my comments, put circle if you think that the earth is a circle, put flat if you think it's flat. That's all I'm gonna say, we done, back to song. Don't trip. I just wanna know. Kill the labels, kill the vultures, kill your greed and kill Jehovah. Kill the broken infrastructure, kill your ego, kill your culture. Kill your masters, kill your maker, kill the dawning of creation. Kill your mother, kill your father, kill yourself and kill your karma. Kill, 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 kill samsara, reincarnate, reach nirvana. Kill your lover, kill your partner, kill the ones that push you. Do I gotta say it? Cuz be slipping that one in a lot. I get it, you're a masochist, you're someone be friend. Kill, 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 some sorry, reincarnate, reach Nirvana. Kill your lover, kill your partner, kill the ones that push you farther. Kill your idols, kill your gods, kill the prophets, kill them often. Kill the one upon the cross. You know, I, I seen this in the comments too, where you guys are like, Ren does all his production. I think his production's phenomenal. And he, you said he makes his own beats. I I wonder what would happen if a a hip hop producer, like like an established hip hop producer, who isn't quite as like, cause Ren gonna try some shit, but a nigga who's going to keep it pretty hip hop sounding. I bet you right now, if those two collaborated, because there's no shame in help, right? In 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 creative endeavors, like not saying anybody should ever write your bars or nothing like that. No, 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 no. But help, production help. All of the, there's a reason why Eminem had Dr. Dre. That tells you something. You know, Tupac had Dr. Dre shit. If he ever got it, because there's just certain, like, there's, like, it's very boom bappy. But if there was a little more bass in this shit, I feel like Ren's just rhyming schemes would be, he would know how to fit in those pop against, or maybe he wouldn't, and I'm just, like, sort of, like, veering off of my mind. But I really feel like if this nigga got in, because... You put this song on a different beat, I feel like it's going to hit way harder. Choking the Pope, how well you know Ren. Could he be him? Could he be Ren? Could he become a killer again? Could he be real? Could he be back? Could he be ripping up another track? Could it be not? Nah? Can't be him. Could have been anybody. Hmm. Nah, 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 mate. I'm pretty sure that's not him. Could he be possibly, probably, honestly? I'm an amateur with something to bother me. Follow my mother, say, follow me, follow me, follow me down to the river and honor me. I'm an anomaly. I am an oddity. I'm in the property. I'm a monopoly for the philosophy. No one is stopping me. Could it be, could it be, could it be, could it be? Vim, vim, vim. That's the sound of a pacifist. Little Miss Guy did turn to a masochist. Chopping up your mattress. Forgive this blasphemous motherfucking massacre. 
Okay, yeah, like that screwed motherfucking masochist. I also had the thought, is there a demographic of the world that like a masochist is cool to, right? Is there like a, de because I guess there's like a demographic of the world where like a serial killer is cool to them and stuff, but like, is there a demographic of the world where like they like look at these niggas and be like, this is fly or like this is cool? Because this is a hip I could never hop to. <laughs> I'm a motherfucking masochist. Body bag, zip zip, that's the catalyst. Take the curve of the earth and I flatten it. Time bomb, tick tick boom, out a kiss. Don't trip, I'm a motherfucking masochist. That was cool. I will for the like. I wasn't a big fan of the song and as a song, but there were some cool bars in there, so I give it one hand. So uh, it much better than any of the other two new songs Ren gave dropped. But the two songs before that. Ooh, it was some heat. Now here comes a certified vibe check. Here comes another reaction by me right here. Ooh, music video by me right here. Bow, click on it. Show me some love. You watch the video song, you hit that thumbs up button. You're a hoe. Stop being a hoe. KBD family, love y'all. Shalute. I'm gone.